Good evening and welcome to this housing preview for the University of South Carolina. I'm Josh Wise, Director of Communications Marketing for University Housing. And tonight we've got our basketball gear on, we've got our foam figures, because at the same time we're talking housing, the women's basketball team is uh, vying for a trip to the final four. And so we're gonna kind of be keeping our eye on that action as we're telling you all about housing tonight. Tonight, we're gonna also be going live to three of our buildings to show you an apartment style, traditional style and suite style building. And that's all coming up in just mere moments. We will head out to Logan Rice who will give us some of our tour, but we'll also be taking your questions. We'll also be talking housing and everything you need to know to call Carolina home this fall. But first, we do wanna go on out live to South Quad, home to the Rotos Fellows community for information design and computing, where Logan Rice is standing by. Logan, good evening, and what's behind you? Behind you. Hey, Josh, yeah, it is, uh, it's a little bit of a cloudy evening here in Columbia tonight. But behind me, you're going to see a beautiful courtyard and the South Quad Residence Hall, like you mentioned, home to the Rotos Fellows community. So I'm going to have the joy of taking you on a quick tour of the building. I'm going to take a couple pit stops along the way, including the fantastic makerspace. We're even going to have the opportunity to show you a room and uh, we'll take a deep dive in here. Hey, Josh, masks are required on campus. Uh, but for the sake of this, so you can understand me, I am going to drop it like this. so That way everybody can hear me a little bit better, including... Uh, inside the residence hall, um, but we are doing our best to honor the ordinances of the City of Columbia and the University of South Carolina. So I just wanted to give that heads up there. So I'm going to flip my camera around here and we are going to take a walk um, of the beautiful South Quad residence hall. So a couple things here. Um, this is going to be an apartment style residence hall. So most of the rooms are going to contain four individual bedrooms inside of it. Um, and then you're going to have uh, a common space. And again, we're going to get to see an example of that room here. So, um, Josh, I'm going to make my way into the lobby up the halls here, and uh, I will join back in with you here in about two minutes. How's that? Sounds good, Logan. One of the things we want to remind everyone about is you can kind of help uh, guide our tours tonight. So as Logan's going through, if you've got something in particular you'd like to see and we can get it in, we'll most certainly do it. So make sure you're sending us a message and we'll be happy to answer those questions and pose them to Logan to see if he can even uh, take a peek at something that we might be missing. Now we will tell you as we tour our buildings tonight that some of our buildings that we're touring, we're gonna to be using actual student rooms. Some of them will be adjacent to someone that has an, uh, a suite style, so we may not be able to view the bathroom, but we're gonna show you as much of the building as we possibly can. Uh, so with that, other things we're going to be talking about and answering your questions on, we're gonna talk a little bit about acceptances into communities into Carolina General. We'll also be talking more about roommates and roommate matching and how that works. We're also gonna be talking about this thing you may have gotten an invite to, U of SC Housing Plus and how you can be a part of that. Uh, all that is coming up in just a few minutes. Um, we're still waiting on Logan to make our way in and it looks like he might be ready for us. Logan, tell us a little bit about where you're at. Yeah, so I am at the maker space here in the Rotos Fellows community. Um, hey, how are you? We got some students hard at work here. Um, we are, uh, we're looking here at a, a wonderful playground of opportunity um, for the creative minds. We have a little bit of everything, 3D printing. Um, we have a lot of really cool equipment here. And this is going to be open for students that are here in the Rotos Fellows community. And so this is a, this is a one of a kind makerspace here, truly. Logan, it's a, it's great, a great opportunity for students that are part of this community to be able to really interact with um, cutting edge technology, technology and to be able to really, if, if they can dream it up, they can go to this space and create it right in their residence hall. Um, so if you are still considering what uh, residence uh, to be a part of, definitely want to check out the Rotos Fellows uh, Learning Community for information design and computing. Um, Logan, um, where are you headed next? And maybe we'll check in with you in just a few minutes. Yeah, if you're good with it, I'll, I'll give one more last walk around here. We see we've got our sewing station. We've got some power tools. We've got some 3D printing. I'll give one final walk around. And then from here, we'll take a quick break 
um, from, from the action here. And I will rejoin you in one of the rooms here in South Quad. Um, there's some fantastic spaces and uh, I'll head there right now. All right. We'll check back in with Logan in just a few moments and we're gonna get to your questions in just a moment. But the first thing we wanna do is we want to um, talk a little bit about acceptances. So many of you have completed your housing application. You've gone through and made your four priority choices on what community and or Carolina General you wanna be a part of. With that, you're waiting on an acceptance. Our faculty principals and our community, community education teams are reviewing those on a rolling basis. We can tell you that um, in the next few days, we expect there to be a number of acceptances uh, to be sent out. So be on the lookout for an email as well as checking your inboxes um, when you go to the housing portal at my.se.edu to find out more about what community you'll be a part of. From there, once you're accepted into Carolina General or to a learning community, you will be, or you will have that option then to then go into the roommate matching section. Now, until you're accepted, you cannot do roommate matching. Now, I know a number of people have said they already have roommates in mind. You have to be in the same community or in Carolina General in order to be a part of that same matching section. If not, remember the housing application is very flexible and it gives you the opportunity at any point in time to go back in and reshuffle your order. But if you've been accepted to a community or to Carolina General and you shuffle your order after that, you may not be uh, considered again for that option that you declined originally. So take it into consideration when you're going through these housing options that you're really taking this seriously. It's also vitally important that when you are making your selections uh, for your uh, community that you don't just so say, hey, I want Carolina General and nothing else because there is a demand limit. At some point, a residence hall will fill up, a community will fill up, and you have to have other options. So we highly, highly encourage you to go through housing.sc.edu, take a look at all the communities, really find out what suits you best, whether it be a building, whether it be a community, what fits you best, and have an order. I know if know a number of you said, I just want Carolina General or I just want Galen. That's great. But when you do that, you kind of put yourself in a corner that if you do not get your first choice, which happens at times, then you're going to not have something in the back burner for your next choice. So please feel free to go ahead and do your homework. Find out what community works best for you and what options work best for you. All right. Before we continue on with additional information, let's go ahead and take a couple of our questions. And we may have answered them a little bit, but what happens if me and my roommate are assigned to two different dorms? Um, that can happen. And, and your roommate option is not solidified until you've gone into the roommate matching portion after you know your community. Now, if you are both in Carolina General, you go through the roommate matching portion and you connect together with one another. At that point, when you connect together, then you go through the process together. So you'll be selecting the same building uh, as one another. You will only have that option. So understand you have to be in the same community or Carolina General to, community to have that roommate um, selection. So if you're bringing someone with you and you get two different communities, you're going to have to, someone's going to have to reshuffle to try to get in the same community to go together, or you're going to have to select a new roommate. So thank you for that question. Um, I appreciate it. Let's go to our next question. Can we see the kitchens of the different buildings? Great segue. Um, we are going now to back to Logan. Logan is standing by at a South Quad room. Logan, you're going to show us a kitchen? Yeah, that was a fantastic segue. Indeed, I am standing here in South Quad. Um, we're going to give a knock on the door of Aaliyah from Sumter, South Carolina. She is being willing to help us out and allow us to show her room tonight. So we're going to give a quick knock and head on in. I'll turn my camera around. Awesome. So here we are um, in, let's see here. Oh, goodness. There we go. Awesome. So welcome to an example South Quad room. So in this apartment style residence hall, you're going to have a common living space. So again, this is a student's room. So it's nice and decorated already for us. 
um, versus some of our other rooms later on are going to be um, kind of allow you to use your own imagination on how you'd like to decorate it if you were living in it. Um, so this is going to be a living space. So it's going to come fully furnished. You're going to have a couch space, a dinner table, and then you do have a kitchenette area. So here's an example kitchen right here. So you're going to have a full sink. You are going to have a stove and an oven. Um, now you will have a meal plan, but hey, if you feel like making a, a home cooked meal from home, this will be the great way to do it. And then you're going to have a full refrigerator. So this is going to be example of the kitchen space here at an apartment style residence hall. Um, it's this, the green quad, east quad, south quad going to be a similar look and feel to this. And those are kind of some of our other primary apartment style halls. I'm going to walk down the hall here and we're going to look at one of the individual rooms. So as we mentioned, um, you're going to have an individual room within the hall, uh, within your common room. So you are going to have a roommate, technically. Um, that's going to be somebody who's on one end of the hall. And then uh, when you're in your roommate matching portal, your suite mates, if you will, are going to be the people that live on the other end of the hall. So if you do live in an apartment style residence hall, you are going to be able to select one roommate, but you're not going to select all three, if you will. But you're going to have a twin bed. Um, Aaliyah is an artist, as we can see here. She told me before we, we went live that she painted all of these. So um, really cool there. And then you're going to have your desk set up, your dresser, your bed, and all that fun stuff. And she's clearly made it her own home. But this is going to be items that University Housing is going to provide for you to utilize so you can study in your room. You have plenty of space to put your clothes and your belongings. And then you're going to have a bed to uh, call it a night on after a long, hard day of classes and studying. Josh, is there anything that we're getting that you want to show in here? I think the kitchen was the thing most people were kind of interested in. You can kind of see the vanity area as he's walking through. Um, our, 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 uh, our, our special guest that has allowed us to go into their residence hall room um, is also one of our wonderful RMs or resident mentors. Uh, if you're a parent joining us, you remember RAs. Um, and they're here to help us uh, with our uh, communities and, and to be a great guidance in the residence hall. So we are very thankful for her, uh, her assistance this evening. Logan, thanks for joining us in South Quad. We'll catch up with you in a little while. All right. Um, so back to your questions. Um, um, thank you again, Logan. That was awesome. Um, uh, we are getting some questions about closets. We're going to show you some closets and some other spaces, but the closets um, are, are a small um, area for you to put your, your clothes, um, and, and we kind of missed it there, but um, their dimensions um, and floor plans you can check out at housing.sc.edu. If you will click um, under the residence halls, you can check out uh, what a typical floor plan looks like, and it'll give you dimensions of either wardrobes or closets. So that's something that you can um, check out. All right, is there, a separate, is there separate housing for Capstone Scholars? And actually it's called the Capstone Village and it is, it is made up of Capstone Residence Hall and Columbia Hall. They're side by side um, and they are available. You will either make us, when you make a selection for um, Capstone Scholars, um, there's going to be options uh, for both that you'll be able to choose from. And so make sure when you're doing that, if you're a Capstone Scholar, that you make your top priority Capstone Scholars community and you'll have those options made available to you. Thank you for that question tonight. Do all residence halls have a maker space? All residence halls have different types of living spaces or, or classrooms, but there's only one truly unique makerspace, and that is in South Quad with the Rotos Fellows community. And uh, we, we know some of you want to see the bathrooms and the closets, and we'll try to get to that as we go on to our next building, which will be South Tower. We'll get there in just a few minutes. I uh, want to cover a few more of your questions that we're getting. Um, let's see here. What is the deadline to apply for housing? Um, the deadline to apply for housing is May 15th. So um, the, let's cover our dates right now. So coming up May 1st is the deadline to enroll to the University of South Carolina 
Um, if you're going Garnet, you got to do it before that May 1st deadline. May 15th will be the deadline uh, for housing. And so we give you a little time. And that brings up a great point there. And there is a small delay. So if you uh, enroll with the university today, there's usually a 48-hour delay before your housing application will populate. Also, you want to make sure as you're going through this process that you go and claim your password and your email and things like that. That'll make it where you can get into that housing portal and do the logins that you need to do to be successful there. So great question about deadlines. Appreciate that. Um, but hey, as always, we want to encourage you to go ahead and make sure you get that housing application taken care of. And if, and if you haven't chosen to go Garnet yet, never been a better time walking across campus today. Just absolutely gorgeous. Students are everywhere, um, really enjoying this outdoor space and this great uh, atmosphere here at the University of South Carolina. So we want to make sure um, that you take advantage of going Garnet. All right. Can we see the HRSM learning housing? Uh, HRSM is going to be in Columbia Hall, um, a special section there. HRSM has a portion there. Let me, let me phrase that correctly. The sports and entertainment management community is in Columbia Hall. After that, you can be a part of that community or you can choose to be another community. There's not a specific all-encompassing HRSM community right now. If you're wanting to take advantage of seeing what Columbia Hall looks like, we will be doing that as part of our spring break Instagram live tour. And it started yesterday with the honors community. Uh, tonight, we're covering three buildings. Tomorrow, we will pick back up with additional, um, additional uh, residence halls. Um, we'll cover that in just a few moments. Um, so a lot still to go, uh, but our Instagram live tour covering buildings all this week and next week. And so by all means, you'll want to check that out at U of SC Housing on Instagram. All right, back to your questions. Do I need to commit to USC before I can put in a housing application? You must enroll with the University of South Carolina before you can, commit, uh, before you can complete a housing application. And so just as you're going through that process, know that when you do the housing application, um, there is a $50 application fee and a $100 advanced room payment fee. If you decide at the last minute for some reason not to, to stay here at University of South Carolina for any reason, and you tell us before uh, June 1st, you get that $100 back, you only lose the application fee. So just things to, to be aware of as you're going through this process. Um, thank you again for that question. What are some of the program-specific housing options? Uh, program-specific housing options, um, there's sports and entertainment management. We talked about that community. It's located in Columbia Hall. You've got the music community uh, located in Woodrow. Um, you've got ROTC that is located in Bates West, which is an apartment-style building that also hosts um, the engineering and compu uh, commu computing community. Um, after that, you're talking about your faculty principal communities, whether it be Green Quad, uh, Preston Residential College, the International House at Maxi, uh, Galen Health Fellows, the Rodos uh, Information Technology and commu Computing uh, Community, or the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Community um, over in East Quad. So those are some of the um, the different opportunities as far as communities. After that, you're talking about Carolina General, which is a host of different residence halls and rooms that are not associated with learning communities. So if you're looking for something um, that is not as focused, um, you can look more towards a Carolina General uh, option. Um, we're getting a lot of questions coming in about the Galen Health Fellows Program in Patterson. So by all means, we'll want to stick around uh, because uh, the very last uh, residence hall we'll be touring tonight is Patterson Hall, home to Galen Health Fellows. Uh, we've been talking uh, on a daily basis with the, the faculty principal team there, and we know a lot of you are still waiting on answers, and we hope to have some of those answers to you very shortly um, about whether you're going to be calling that community home. Um, so Galen Health Fellows uh, is part of the Allied Health Program. So no matter what health major you may be a part of, you can be a part of this community. And all of our communities, even if they're focused 
um, are well-rounded community. So you don't have to be a necessarily a health major or a business major to be a part of entrepreneurship and innovation. So by all means, you want to take advantage of the different communities and feel free to apply. And that's where the supplemental application questions if you're not interested in it, we understand, but if you're really interested in being a part of a community, you wanna make sure that you're answering those questions, the supplemental applications really well because our faculty members are reviewing them. And that's how you get into those learning communities. All right, we've still got more to come. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and when we come back, we're gonna join Logan Rice in South Tower as we look at a traditional style residence hall. That's all when we come back to this housing preview. Hey, future Gamecocks, this is Shane Beamer, head football coach at the University of South Carolina. Just like you, I had the opportunity to come home this year. We have a huge home field advantage here in williams Bryce Stadium, but the only way we have that home field advantage is with you packing those stands down there in williams Bryce. I can't wait to see each of you in the stands creating that home field advantage this fall. Congrats on going Garnet. welcome home. going to be an exciting fall with head coach Shane Beamer coming here to campus. He was an assistant coach uh, back in the Steve Spurrier era, and we cannot wait uh, for football season to return and to have each one of you in the stands at williams Bryce joining us. But joining us again now at South Tower, a uh, quick run up Bull Street Hill, Logan Rice. Logan, tell us a little more about South Tower. Hey, yeah, Josh. So I am standing in front of South Tower right now. So as you mentioned, it's located on Bull Street. It's uh, hey, it's right in the heart of campus. You have Russell House probably about two minutes away. Um, the Thomas Beamer Library also about two minutes away. Um, it's it's a really great spot at the heart of campus um, for students. So I'm going to go ahead and head in. I'm going to flip my camera around so we can kind of see. And then we're going to highlight some of the elements of South Tower. So, hey, it is, uh, it's about 720 right now, which means the buildings are gonna be locked down, okay? So you do have to have Carolina card access to enter the building. That's a security measure we're gonna try to take for you guys. And uh, one thing that you may notice different about South Tower than South Quad where we just were is, hey, it's a little more open area, common spaces than South Tower was. There's immediately when you come in the door, you're gonna see a lobby area where you have tables for dining. Um, with it being a traditional style hall, um, there's going to be a big emphasis on community that uh, maybe South Quad or other quads might not have necessarily um, in the open there, but you do have that community opportunity uh, with your roommates in the apartment. So immediately when you come in, you have two uh, beautifully newly-ish redone um, lobby areas, and then we are going to go in here, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite things about South Tower um, here in a minute, which is going to be our game room. So you come in, Again, card access for students um, with access only. And then you have a game room. And here's gonna be a fantastic place to build community with one another, um, to hang out and really uh, you know, have fun. Today's a wellness day. So we're kind of closing down a, a day of no classes. So it's a great way to conclude our day. And then uh, we got some pianos here. If you wanna um, play musical instruments, hey fellas, how you doing? And again, kind of some more common space, some areas for you to be. And then, hey, here's our residence life coordinator office. Um, as I, we've mentioned before, probably a time or two, um, you are going to have a live-in uh, professional staff in every hall. These are going to be um, your people to go to for all questions that you may have. So, hey, I, uh, I have a trip up the elevator ahead of me. So I'll hop off real quick and then rejoin you at one of our rooms in South Tower. How's that? Sounds good, Logan. Thanks for the uh, tour, but we want to give you an update. Uh, we said we'd keep you in, um, up to date with it. The Lady Gamecocks currently leading 18 to 7 over the Texas Longhorns in their bid for, um, for, their bid for the Final Four. So we're going to get to some of your questions while we're waiting on Logan. Can freshmen live in any of these housing setups? And the answer is absolutely. Now, each building setup is uh, obviously apartment style, suite style, traditional style. They're gonna present you with different levels of, of interaction. And so when I'm talking to parents and students when they're here on campus uh, visiting for orientation or one of our tours, I always like to remind people that 
the first steps of calling Carolina home when your first day is here is get out and meet as many people as you possibly can. And so whether you're in an apartment style or suite style or traditional style, keep those doors open. Get to know people in those opening days of living at Carolina. It's a vital in part to, to really making this place more than just a building you live in, but really a home where you, you cultivate friendships and, and lifelong relationships with, with other folks. So by all means, freshmen can live in all of these uh, building options that we're showing you uh, on our tour or on our website. If you live in a quad, do and you, you and your roommate get to choose the other two roommates? Um, yes and no, okay? so. Um, you will be doing an online room selection, and from that, you'll get to see if someone else is in the, the apartment that you're choosing or a suite on the other side. And so from that standpoint, what you want to do is take a look at that as you're doing your, your room selection process. You don't get to latch on like you do to one roommate, but what you do get to do is, is see people that are in the other uh, rooms or suites um, so you do have some opportunities to find folks that you may know or have met along the way. Thank you so much for that question. Um, so is that, um, is that housing for upperclassmen or freshmen as well? I think you were, were referencing with this question, South Quad, um, that uh, housing is for both upperclassmen and uh, new incoming students. And so what we will say here is um, from that standpoint, we integrate continuing students with our incoming students, and that way you have some mentors, some people to kind of cultivate uh, a relationship with that's a mentoring style attitude. And so we don't have specific upperclassmen or continuing student buildings. Uh, we have much more of a blended community throughout uh, the housing options. Is the health sciences community a specific residence hall? Health sciences would be allied health, and our allied health community is Galen Health Fellows. Can you see Patterson Hall? Coming up after South Tower, we're going to be going to Patterson Hall. You'll get a sneak peek at that uh, in just a few moments. Um, what's the average waiting period when you submit your housing form and receive a response? And that really is a rolling basis. Um, never more important to fill out those questions. <laughs> really well in the supplemental application. Uh, I know some of you have been waiting a while. Some of you have just put something in and already received a response. Our, our faculty partners are going through them as well as our assignment coordinators to really get you those responses. And we anticipate a lot of response coming this week and next week. So you'll want to be on the lookout in your housing portal and your emails for those uh, acceptances coming up. Um, if I'm assigned housing and my potential roommates have not been assigned housing yet, can I pull them into a room with me? You cannot pull anyone into a room until the room selection process that will not begin until June 1st. So you have to go ahead and be accepted into a community and do roommate matching prior to um, June 1st. At June 1st, we begin the process of letting you select your rooms. Um, and speaking of rooms, I think Logan's back with us in a room in South Tower. Hey, Josh. Yeah, so we are here in a room in South Tower. Um, had to use a good old fashioned key to get in here. So you will be given a key if you are in South Tower. Um, South Quad similarly will have a key and, and most places will. So, hey, I'm on a corner room here in South Tower. So I'm going to kind of give a quick look around of what this looks like and then kind of talk about some of the features here as we do that. So. Uh, here we're going to have a, a twin XL bed. Um, you're going to have two beds here. Um, you're also going to have a, a desk and chair. And, uh, and then here's where the, the other bed um, is located here in the corner. Something that I do want to point out are these two massive closets. All looks right. Like it looks like Logan is breaking up a little bit. So we'll give him an opportunity to get a Logan, um, we missed a little bit of that. Um, so we'll come back to you in just a second. Um, obviously that's, that's what happens with live. And so we are doing this live tonight uh, from campus. And so we'll join Logan again in just a moment um, as we're going through, um, Logan, you back with us? Yeah, hey, I just realized I wasn't on our wonderful Wi-Fi. So that was my bad. So I'm, I'm on Wi-Fi now. And now that I'm connected to our EDU room here, which is Wi-Fi, it's going to be free for students all across campus. 
let's uh, let's try this again. If not, I may have to look at something with my phone and maybe a user error here. So as I was talking about, I'm going to flip back around now. And uh, hey, we got we got two twin XL beds here um, in the room. So in this layout, students decide to put their bed in either corner of the room. You're going to see a desk and chair layout for both students. And uh, and then one thing I do want to point out is, man, if you live in South Tower, you will not have to worry about closet space. We got two big old closets for you. And then we have some, some dresser space and a vanity. And then one thing I do want to point out real quick, um, I am on um, an upper level floor. You got a beautiful view of the city here. I don't know if you can quite see it through, uh, but Williams Bryce is down there. You got the iconic Carolina water tower here to my left. So you have a, a wonderful view of campus if you do happen to live in one of the upper rooms. And uh, hey, one thing you're not going to see in this room is a bathroom, right? So uh, we saw a bathroom and a vanity space in South Quad in South Tower. Um, you are not going to see that. This is a traditional style hall, which means um, you're going to have a community style bath on each floor. Um, so floors are divided up by, um, by gender. So you're going to have um, a, a floor that will be male for female, et cetera, et cetera. And so you are going to have that for the halls. Um, and so do want to do want to point that out. It's going to be community style bath. And because uh, we do have students living here, I uh, I'm not going to show you guys the bathroom today. <laughs> I'll let you guys uh, imagine what it looks like. So how's that? And show us the beds one more time, Logan. Um, you know, um, as he's turning that camera around, want to let everybody know that um, all of our beds are twin XLs, except living in Park Place and Union. Um, and, and even in some places in Union, you have some, some twin XLs. Our website, housing.se.edu, under the residence halls, gives you all that information. Um, and as you start getting ready for move in, we'll be sending out tips and things like that. Um, Logan, thanks for showing us the beds. Thank you for not showing us the bathrooms as there are other students living on that hall. <laughs> and I think there may be some element of surprise if you walk in with a camera that we don't wanna necessarily go with tonight. But uh, thanks for uh, catching up with South Tower. Um, and we'll see you in just a little bit in Patterson. Perfect. Sounds good. All right. Thank you so much, Logan. Um, back to your questions. Um, I know a lot of you that are joining us tonight are, are asking, hey, can I come back and watch this at another time? Um, absolutely. Platform Q will ha have this available for you um, uh, or your admissions platform will have this for you. So you can come back to this portal and take a look at the show. And, and as always, you can reach out to housing, um, housing at sc.edu on email. Uh, we also have live chats with students going from the housing website. Uh, each and every day from 8.30 to 5 o'clock. And so by all means, you can join us that way as well. Our social media at U of SC Housing on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And coming soon, we'll also be on Pinterest. Why? It's a special part of our uh, U of SC Housing Plus program. This is your opportunity to get information about housing the way you want to get it. This is an opportunity for you to select communities you want more information about. You want to know more about decorating your room? Our interior design team will be adding things to Pinterest very soon, as well as getting specialized emails just about those things, that's, those little touches you may want to do to your room for the fall. U of SC Housing Plus is available on housing.sc.edu under Housing Experience tab on the left-hand side. Sign up today to keep up to date with the latest information about housing. So let's get back to your questions. Is housing only guaranteed for freshman year? Freshman year, we do have a live on requirement for first year students and it is guaranteed. After that, we highly encourage you to be involved in your community. Those are some of the ways you can live on campus after that. We have a beautiful new project that's, that's been, the ground is being broken on in the Campus Village. So we anticipate additional housing on campus very soon. The Campus Village is located um, right near Bates House in Bates West. You'll probably hear a lot more about this at, throughout the summer months as we move towards the fall. So by all means, we're gonna have additional housing coming soon. So be on the lookout for additional information about that as you get to those continuing years of being a student here on campus. 
All right, the next question, are housing applications processed on a first come first save basis, or is there any other way you prioritize them? Commitment date, application date. All right, this is kind of a mixed bag, so to speak. The first thing I can tell you is applications are reviewed based on your selection and priority you've selected. So first and foremost, let's just say this. If you're applying to a community, the supplemental application questions are being reviewed individually by faculty members and assistant principals within those communities. Your community education teams and our non-faculty communities are reviewing applications. That is how you're getting into communities. Everything else is about when you make your room selection. It's not about getting into the community. So don't worry about that. There's plenty of housing for everyone. And no matter whether you submit your application on February 15th or May 14th, you're going to have housing options, whether it be a community or General Carolina, they're going to be out there for you. So feel secure in your selection to call Carolina home that there's going to be somewhere for you to live next fall. So great question. Really appreciate that question. If we just want uh, in Carolina General, why does the portal make us choose three more communities? It's a supply and demand process. So let me give you an example. We're getting ready to go to Patterson in just a few minutes. Patterson holds approximately 500 students. We have an incoming class that will probably be somewhere around 6,000, let's say. Well, not all 6,000 folks can get into that community. While we wish our best residence halls or our best communities could handle that, they just can't. And so it's a supply and demand situation. So while we say, yes, select your top priority, there's a chance you won't get your top uh, priority. So you need to be prepared by selecting additional options. Now, you can always reshuffle should your priorities change, should you get additional information that changes that. But remember, there's a, it's, it's just our halls can't handle all of our incoming students this year. So please make sure that you do select more than one option and you take it seriously because our faculty members are reading those and it really gets you off on the right foot. Great, great question. Um, so do you have to become a member of the Galen community in order to stay in Patterson Hall? And yes, your acceptance into Patterson Hall is based on a community. The community is in Patterson Hall. So if you wanna be in Patterson, you have to be a part of the Galen Health Fellows Program. And so you'll need to apply for that program to, to get into that. So remember that as you're going through this process that some buildings and communities are tied together. All right, loving the questions. Really, really appreciate them. Um, it looks like with 416 to go in the second, Gamecock's up 26-17. Told you I'd keep you up to date on that. Is South Tower co-ed by floor? What about the rest of Carolina General Buildings? South Tower is co-ed by floor. Now, the University of South Carolina uh, does offer gender, gender neutral housing in many of its communities. Um, you'll have an opportunity to select that and we'll receive additional information about those opportunities should you select that in your housing application. So when you make that check box, if you're looking for something um, more of a shared space, there are opportunities within the application for you to take care of that. So um, that is in your application. Are the security desks staffed 24 seven? And if so, are they staffed by students or security professionals? Um, our buildings are a little more on lockdown because of COVID this year. And so in most cases, you have to have your access card to get into a residence hall. Uh, we do have resident mentors that man those desks in the evening hours. Um, however, there is not someone at our residence hall desk 24 hours a day. We do have staff members that are uh, very close by throughout the, the day hours, and we have staff that live in the buildings uh, that are always there for assistance. We have RMs as well as professional staff members that are on duty. And, uh, you know, as you're preparing to come to Carolina, there are a ton of safety uh, measures to keep you safe. And, and if I remember correctly, I believe it was a, a year or so ago, um, the students overwhelmingly in the 97% range said they felt safe in their residence halls, which is 
an awesome thing because it's your home. It's the place you're going to be living. And so by all means, our, our buildings are nice and safe, and, and they're a great haven uh, for students uh, to call home. Our, uh, the cost for the living space is all the same. They are not. So you're going to find uh, variants of price points um, that fit every uh, need. And so you'll go to housing.se.edu. There on the left-hand side, rates and fees. Uh, from there, you're going to see this year's rates and fees. Uh, fees for the upcoming year um, really are not established until July. And so you kind of get a basis for what you will see next year there. Um, some of our affiliated apartment styles, which is, is our fourth section, they may be some updated price ranges there. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to see this year's rates until the 1st of July. All right. Um, we're hitting the 7 40 range. And so probably a good time to check in with Logan before it gets a little too dark to show us the outside. Logan, um, you're outside Patterson. I am outside Patterson. Just want to show you guys a quick view of this beautiful building. Um, hey, it is LEED certified. It's a beautiful building. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of natural light that gets let in in Patterson. I'm standing at maybe a different location than you might have anticipated I'm at. I'm not at the front entrance, but I am um, in a courtyard space right behind Patterson. Um, I don't know if you can see all of the amenities behind me, um, but hey, you have some wonderful space for study, for relaxation, uh, to do a little frisbee or spike ball, whatever it may be. Uh, this is a wonderful place to be behind Patterson. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera around and, and walk you guys in here and show you guys the main lobby. So Patterson is going to be a sweet style residence hall. So we said we'd show you one of each tonight. Um, South Quad was that apartment style. South Tower is that traditional style. And then Patterson is going to be a sweet style. And so, uh, again, like Josh mentioned, we already had some questions about safety and what it looks like. Um, you're going to see a red light on this card scanner, meaning I can't get in this door unless I scan in. Door unlocks. And here we are in the Patterson Hall lobby. All right. So this is going to be your main lobby. Patterson's fun in the sense that it has some residential classrooms um, in the hall. So. University 101, a program that we as a university are very proud of. They're going to meet in some of these classrooms. Um, the buildings are closed right now because there's no class in session. Um, but you're going to have some classrooms here. And how neat is it to be able to walk downstairs and go to class um, if, you, if you do have a class here in your residence hall? And, uh, you know, we mentioned the front desk. You have the front desk here to my right. And then one thing I do want to show you guys, I'm going to take you back to um, the laundry facility, which is we, there is laundry available in for all the residence halls. And uh, something that's unique here at U of SC is, uh, hey, all of our laundry is gonna be free. So you just come down, um, find, find an open washer dryer, throw in your, uh, throw in your clothes, and uh, you're all set to go for some laundry. So I wanna show you the facilities here. Got a place to wait if you do like, um, or there are, there's an app that's actually really cool. The app will tell you when your clothes are, are ready. So you can throw your clothes in there go get some studying done, go grab a bite to eat, come back and have your clothes ready. So Josh, is there any area in the main common area before I hit the elevator and go upstairs that we have some folks that are wanting to see? Um, I think you've kind of covered it all. Um, there's also some office space in here. And, and if you're having um, needs when you're visiting, um, things of that nature, the main housing offices are located in the garden level uh, or just down the stairs uh, from where Logan is at. And so uh, we're right here to help in any way possible. So Logan, we'll check back in with you in just a few minutes um, up in a, in a room. So uh, thank you, Logan. Uh, back to um, your questions. And um, so I'm gonna try to catch up a little bit and in that um, we've got a number of questions about how do you apply for Galen Health Fellows. Galen Health Fellows uh, is part of the Allied Health Program, but when you're going through your applica housing application, your selection for a community would be Galen Health Fellows. From there, you'll answer three supplemental application questions. Those application questions, take your time. I, I highly encourage folks, type out the answers to the questions in a Word document, check your punctuation, things like that. It's vitally important to make sure you've got a great answer ready to go, let someone else read it, populate it into the housing application, and then click Submit. 
And so any of our uh, faculty principal communities, you have to do the supplemental applications. And so that's how you apply to be a part of Galen Health Fellows. So really appreciate those questions. Is there other suite style housing available besides Patterson or in Carolina General? Uh, yes, if, um, if you are a lady, we have the Women's Quad um, that is a suite style building uh, that is available. Um, Columbia Hall and Capstone are both uh, suite style buildings as well. Uh, Bates West is a little bit different. It's kind of what I would call a suite style apartment in that you share a bedroom uh, with another person, but you have a, a living space, a kitchen, as well as a bathroom on, on the, on, in the apartment. Um, so there's an option for you as, as well. Preston Residential College, the International House at Maxi, um, just to name a few of the options you have when it comes to suite style uh, living here on campus. If your application to your first choice community gets declined, should you log in and delete that community and re rearrange your next three choices? By all means, if you get declined, uh, you're highly encouraged to go and reshuffle your priority to go to your next one, move it up to number one, um, so that that community sees that you're eager to be a part of their community. It's an awesome um, opportunity for you to also reevaluate. It may be something that you said, hey, I'll watch the show or I, I watched one of our community videos on, on the admissions platform and you say, listen, I really had not, had not thought about this community. It's a great opportunity. I want to reshuffle my options. By all means, if you get declined for a community, go reshuffle those. Put your new number one up there and, and show that community you're ready to be a part of it. All right, can you live in Patterson if you have a business major? Again, our, our communities are very wide open. These communities give you a lot of opportunity and they're looking for a varying group of, of personalities and interest. And so by all means, any major can apply to any community. Um, you just have to give some relevance back to maybe that topic and how it would interact with you and how you would interact in that community. Great question. Do the halls have mixers, socials, and events? Absolutely. Our resident mentor team from day one uh, will be there to help get students involved from the first floor meeting to uh, breakfast. Was walking through honors yesterday, getting ready for our Instagram live tour. And while we were there, there were resident mentors ha handing out snacks, uh, interacting with students. Um, there's, there's some awesome startup events. Um, there's baseball tonight. Uh, I, it's all not often. Um, it's not unusual to see groups of students from the residence halls getting together to go to some of our sporting events. Head over to the Russell House. Um, but yes, there's a lot of different events um, to get involved with, to build community, and to build some of those lifelong relationships. All right. When do you apply for parking? Uh, parking, you usually handle that during the summer orientation period. Uh, they'll be a part of the virtual um, orientation uh, fair where you can hear from all the different groups. Parking, you know, you, that's more of a summer piece. Right now, you've got to get those, those major checks taken care of. One of them, get enrolled, call Carolina uh, home, and, and go ahead and, and apply to housing. Those are the things we have to encourage you to get done now. The orientation team will start to take over in the coming uh, weeks and, and start to prepare you for that move-in day that will be middle of August. Um, we are still, uh, as we're preparing, uh, it's always in the middle of August. It always seems to be in that, that really warm time here in, in Columbia. Um, as soon as we have additional information, a great page for you to begin um, really getting accustomed to sc.edu slash move in uh, it's also a part of the housing website there we'll have announcements about times how you can sign up for move in all the things you'll need to bring all that information is right there for you uh, it's kind of a one-stop shop place for you um, to find that information all right what is carolina general that's a great question carolina general is made up of all the residence halls and rooms that are not attached to a living and learning community. So we were just in South Tower. That building doesn't have a living and learning community, um, so it is part of Carolina General. Um, if a community doesn't take the entire building and there are a few rooms left over 
um, those rooms would be available in Carolina General. So it's a much more general place, population where you make the selection of not only your building, but also your room. They don't have this quite the same structure though as you would a learning community where you're gonna have interaction with faculty members and staff on a more rolling basis, as well as taking classes with the same like-minded students as yourself. All right, um, we're getting a lot of meal qu uh, plan questions uh, coming into our, our chat room. Um, meal plans are required for students that are living on campus, whether it be apartment style or suite style. The university, as part of our award-winning first year experience, really values the opportunity to make sure you have a, a certain number of meals in our dining halls. And so that is a requirement as for your first year students uh, that are coming to campus. All right, as we're getting to the bottom of the hour, I wanna make sure we check back in with Logan. Logan, where are you in Patterson? Yeah, hey, so I know we just had a question about, uh, about meal plans. Uh, did wanna show you that there are community kitchens um, within suite and traditional style halls as well. So I'm standing here in the community kitchen at Patterson. So, hey, you, uh, you have some wonderful meals at the Russell House, or maybe you go to Capstone or, or the Honeycomb Cafe and honors and grab your bite to eat, but you kind of want to make some home cooking. You want to use your, your, you know, your mama's special recipe, come on in here to the community kitchen, and, uh, and then you know, sit down and hang out for a while. We've got, we got a great view here of uh, some seating areas, um, and then uh, we've got some dining areas as well. Um, we, uh, we've been considerate of the facilities crew. And so we put the, uh, put the, the chairs up on the table so they can clean the floors, but did want to showcase the community kitchen, but, um, I am here at Patterson. I'm going to walk down the hall really quick and, uh, get to the room and we'll pick up from there. All right, Logan, thank you. Um, and at halftime for those keeping up with it, the Lady Gamecocks up 37 to 22 over the Texas Longhorns in their bid for the women's final four. All right, we're gonna to get to a couple more questions real quick before we go back to Logan. What does HRSM mean? Um, is that a learning community? No, that is hospitality, retail, sports management. It's a conglomeration of hospitality programs. It's a, it's a college here at the university. Um, so we apologize that we used the acronym and, and didn't fully explain earlier. Um, also, can we see Capstone Residence Hall? Absolutely, you can. That's part of our spring break um, residence hall tour on Instagram Live. We'll cover that and give you more information about the lineup for that um, coming up in just a minute. Um, Logan, you at the room? I am. So, hey, I know at South Tower, we, were, we talked about entering with a key. One of the cool things here at Patterson is it's going to be on your Carolina card. So don't have to worry about keeping up with a key and a Carolina card. So you're just gonna scan in, get the green light, and here is your room, all right? So this is going to be a suite style residence hall. So similar to South Tower, it is vacant. Um, you can see here that when you do get your bed, you're gonna get a bed rail. So if you do elect to kind of put your bed up a little bit higher, maybe put your dressers underneath the bed, um, that's gonna give you some safety there. Each student is gonna get a wardrobe, right? So at South Tower, we saw those wardrobes were built in. Um, here at Patterson, there's gonna be a standalone unit you're going to have a, a desk and chair for each student. And then, uh, hey, here at Patterson, on this end of the spectrum, we're going to get a beautiful view of the city of Columbia um, as the sun starts to set here. So I always want to show off, um, hey, we do live in the capital of South Carolina, the great state of South Carolina. You get a, you're right here in the heart of the city. So I want to point that out as well. Um, something that you're going to see in this room that you did not see at South Tower is a sink. Um, all right, so you're going to have a vanity area here, and this uh, is going to be where you're going to do, you know, your teeth brushing, getting ready, getting ready for uh, whatever the day may hold. And then um, this is the bathroom. I'm not going to show you the bathroom as there are students uh, that are adjacent to this room. They'll be uh, technically, if I were living here, they would be my suite mates. Um, but this is going to be your bathroom. So it's going to be four students um, to a restroom here in Patterson Hall. So here's our two beds. Again, they're twin XL and uh, the students that were here before, again, elected to kind of have their bed up a little bit higher, utilize their space. And hey Logan, um, we had questions about closets before. This room has wardrobes. Can you open a wardrobe and kind of show people the space in those wardrobes? I can, yeah. So 
I'll uh, let me get my camera rearranged here. I don't know what happened. Okay. Got three great windows and I'm gonna pan over to the wardrobe. So you got some shelving, you got a, you got a spot to hang up your clothes, spot for shoes. And so this is gonna be an example of, of what a wardrobe is. And then uh, I do wanna showcase here that you're gonna have a dresser as well that um, can fit nice and neat under the bed if you do elect. So wardrobe, dresser, and then uh, a little nightstand as well. Hey, Logan, thanks for showing us the buildings tonight. Uh, really appreciate it. You can join um, as part of our ongoing Instagram live um, tour each day uh, this week and next week. And so by all means, Logan, thank you for, for joining us this evening. Um, we're at the five minute warning. And so I'm going to speed through uh, your questions right now but a great question that just came up. As you're planning to call Carolina home, you're seeing these different rooms. There are um, different types of walls. Some walls are uh, concrete cinder block, some are sheetrock. So as you're preparing for this, remember push pins only are allowed into your wall. So thumbtacks, push pins uh, are only in a sheetrock wall. If you're going to be in a cinder block wall style building, you can use command strips but not vice versa, okay? Um, so make sure as you're planning, that's a key piece to that packing list uh, that you wanna get through. All right, I've got a number of questions I've gotta get through, so here we go. Will we see Park Place uh, as part of our tour? We absolutely wear it, uh, will. Instagram Live Tour continues tomorrow. We'll be in Preston, followed by Thursday in Bates West, and Friday is Park Place. Now, if you want to know more information about next week's tour, join us on U of SC Housing Plus or visit our website under the Housing Experience. There you can find out the full lineup of when we will be where next week in our Instagram Live tours. But we will be covering a number of the buildings that you're asking about. All right, is there any of the housing uh, generally too far uh, from any specific majors. You know, the great thing about Columbia is we are in a downtown metropolitan area, but all of the majors and residence halls are within a short walk um, to where they're going. And the transit system here is just really great. A uh, number of different loops that can get you a quick uh, ride over to the other side of campus. So by all means, you shouldn't need to worry about that. Even though we're in a big city uh, atmosphere, it's a quick consolidated campus trip uh, to wherever you're going. So thank you for that question. Uh, are there healthy meal options in the dining halls? Absolutely. Um, there's a dining option for everyone. In some of our residence halls like Capstone, uh, Bates House, um, Honors, there are residence halls there in the residence halls and they have much more of an all-you-can-eat option, salad bars, sandwich stations, um, they're always doing pop-up meals, um, specials. Uh, just sat through a great presentation from Carolina a Food Company yesterday. They've got a number of great options available coming for next year that our student population is extremely excited about. Um, there's some specific allergy locations where if you have a food allergy, you can go and, and, and not worry about your meal being prepared a, a certain way or, or coming in contact with other things. Our housing partners are really here to provide you with not only healthy meals, but meals you wanna eat as you are going into the next step, steps of your college career. Our, um, all right, let's see here. If we attend Pillars during the summer and find someone we want a room with, can we change our roommate if we had already selected one or can we wait that long? Really waiting that long is gonna be difficult because the room selection process takes place in the month of June. And so um, we lock in the roommate matching situation before June 1st. And so you wanna make sure you've selected that roommate by there. Um, by all means, if you ever get stuck in a situation and, and you need some help, our assignment coordinators are there to help you. So if you do just find that absolute perfect one and, and we can work with you, um, you would contact our housing offices and we can try to work through that process with you. But once you get to June 1st, it really, you're locked into that roommate situation. Um, but great question. Um, are printers in the residence halls and is printing free? And um, no, we do not currently have 
any printers um, in the residence halls that are mass printing areas. Um, you do have a lot of options. Uh, a lot of people, um, when they get with their roommates, get one printer for the whole apartment. Um, and it just speaks to when you get your roommates beginning that planning process of what you're going to, to need as you call Carolina home. You know what? Uh, we are running out of time. So many more things to cover. U of SC Housing on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We've got live tours of the buildings coming up. U of SC Housing Plus is where you can get a ton of information. If you haven't signed up, sign up today. Hey, for everybody at University Housing, thank you for joining us tonight. We can't wait for you to be a Gamecock. Call, it, uh, call Carolina home this fall. So for everybody here at University Housing, so long, and we'll see you this fall here at the University of South Carolina.